Hey guys, welcome back. This is part three of making a custom turtle from the movie. We have already um, in progress skin painted almost the way I want it. Notice there's a lot of freckles and splashes and you can see different spots. Uh, I want to give a shout out to my friend Raphael. I cannot remember his last name, but I'll put a link in the description. But he showed a video on um, he was painting a six head of Jack Burton and he showed his technique, which I'm um, missing his video uh, he did of his uh, ramp did and his Superman. Queen video and uh, really cool guy. I've asked him questions and he's interested me. And so, uh, yeah. But anyway, the splatter technique is what I want to call it. So, what you're going to do is basically, I'm going to use three different, four different colors with Mickey um, light green, dark green, brown, and yellow. Um, so what you want to do, and I'm not going to do it, of course, because I've already done it. Uh, for instance, you can take your yellow and you're going to dip it in there. Come over here and wipe it off. Then you can stick it in the water until you get a wet in it. You don't want it too much. You don't want too little. Just enough that when you touch it, it rubs off on your hands and it's watery. Now what you want to do is you want to take your brush. And very carefully, you want to go and rub it and almost a flickering move and flicker the paint. What you do is you go over the skin tone with that. You do yellow. Brown. What I do is I take my finger. If you get too much stir, I go and press that because you rub off the paint, but just kind of tap it, smooth it in, and the end result will I know it looks simple, it's like, it looks ugly, uh, nasty looking, it doesn't look good. Well, it will eventually turn into these kind of skin tones because all these little spots are the skin of the Ninja Turtles where you see all the little freckles and the little dark and white. so it's more realistic so all right let's go ahead and let's the next part done, which is not hard, but you can what you want to do now, hang on guys, because I like to say time, is it going to work at the same time? Uh, all right. What you want to do now that you got a scatter effect is you want to want to lean lightly. Go and this way you don't lose the splatter effect at all. And you just want to, it's too much. There we go. And you just want to, because what's going to happen is this will create a cover, an upper cover to your paint, but you'll still have the splatter effect underneath, and it will look realistic. All those little freckles and spots will come out in the final piece. And remember, like I said, you just want to tap it on there. You don't want to. But if it drips on the shell, don't worry because you're going to repaint that anyway. Come get his toes. Toes. All right. 
do too much. Just want to cover it up as best you can. All right. Now, as you can see, it looks like a big blot. But you can see the different tones in his skin now. Now, what you want to do, I put it back up. <laughs> Sorry about that, guys. Just to working like this. Get off, damn it. All right. Shake up your matte finish and spray. Make sure you get every part of him. You don't want to lose any detail. All right. Now that that's done, the last thing to be in the next video after he's dry, will be to go in with the black paint and get the details to come out. Then all right, guys. Next time.